I better get going. It was really great staying with you, Randy. Yeah. Um, hey, Lauren, isn't uh, your birthday this Friday? <laughs> you remembered. Well, yeah, you know, I always remember the most important birthdays, you know, Washington, Lincoln, Lauren. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking we could get a couple friends together and go celebrate. Actually, you know what I'd really like? If somebody asked me out to dinner. Oh, yeah? A anyone in particular? <laughs> yes. Someone in the tri-state area? <laughs> I'm talking about you. Well, Lauren, I mean, I I'd love to take you out to dinner, but wouldn't that, you know, sort of be kind of a... Date? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what it sounded like, but you didn't mean it. Of course you didn't mean it like that. You didn't mean it like that, did you? I did, unless, of course, you don't want to go on a date. Oh, no, 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 I'd love to go on a date. That is, unless you don't want to. Randy, I asked you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, then we're going on a date. Yeah, it's a date. <laughs> Me and you. Us. Together. <laughs> I guess this takes us to a whole new level. Yeah, I uh, guess it does. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Mom, you are not going to believe it. Lauren and I are finally going out on a date. Congratulations. Yes. Uh, this brings Lauren and me to a whole new level. By the way, what does that mean? <laughs> Well, that you're about to enter a more mature, evolved relationship based on trust and communication, which means that you'll have to be constantly in tune with Lauren's innermost feelings. Oh, Missy Old Level. <laughs> Looks like we have time for one more letter, honey. Here you are. Ooh, big one. This one is um, from a Katie Allen, one of our younger viewers. Look at that. Got a little picture for us. <laughs> the tool time bench. There's me after a weekend in Cancun, evidently. <laughs> There's Al and Heidi's carrying. Looks like a chainsaw backstage. Thank you, Katie, very much. It's for you. Now, Katie, you're a very talented artist. Artist? Heck, she's a magician. Look how thin she made you look. <laughs> That's all the time we have. We'll see you next time right here in Tool Time. Thank you, Sean. You guys have been a great audience. Thanks for coming down to Tool Time. We've got free gifts for you on your way out. We've got little styrofoam cowboy hats for the gals and a little, little bottles of travel size pearl for the guys. Thanks very much. <laughs> such a long time. You look great. So do you, but um, something's different. Um, no bandages. That's it. <laughs> nice story. How's school going? I'm all done. I just got my paramedic certificate. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm looking for a job. Heidi. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Good to see you, Lisa. Congratulations. I heard you had a baby. Thanks. Yeah, I had a little girl. Her name's Amy. Let me show you a picture. Oh, she's so cute. Thank wait you. A wait a second. If you're here this weekend, why don't you just do the show on Friday? You can get, come on as a guest. We're building the hot rod up. Well, if you're sure it's okay, I'd love to. Okay, it would be terrific! Yes! <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, we'll go down to Big Mike's and catch up, all right? Yeah, well, you know, I'd love to go, but I gotta pick up my daughter from the sitters. You guys go. Have a good time. It's too bad you're gonna miss some great Tool Time stories! <laughs> yeah, well, Remember the time Tim nailed his foot to the floor? <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember when he glued his head to the table? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Remember the time we put super glue in one of his sandwiches? Oh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you did that? He told me it was mayonnaise. I didn't say it was mayonnaise. <laughs> and you believed him? Well, you'd always believe the boss. Come on. Hey. Hi, how's it going? Ah, awful. I mean, now that Lauren and I are going on this.
this date, everything's changed. What do you mean? Well, I had no idea how to act when I saw her. You know, I didn't know if I should give her a normal high or more caring, emotional high. <laughs> you know, and during lunch, she had to ask me to pass the ketchup. So? Mom, she was eating french fries. I should have anticipated her needs. <laughs> Honey, just relax. You're going to be fine. I hope so. So, Mom, what kind of food did Dad take you for on your first date? Italian. Meatball subs in the Sears parking lot. <laughs> Well, I think Lauren might prefer something indoors. <laughs> yeah. Jill? Yeah? Big news. Friday show, the Tool Time audience is in for a big treat. You're being preemptive? <laughs> Another feeble stab at humor. Very funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, first off, Lisa's coming back. And second of all... Lisa? Your old tour girl? That's not all. We're gonna have... Wait, will Heidi still be there? Yeah, but that's not the best part. Two tour girls? <laughs> yes, Brad... But the best part is, the hot rod got primed in time. We're going to showcase it on the show. The hot rod's going to be on the show. Dan, which do you think the audience is going to be more excited about, your primed car or the two tool girls? <laughs> tool time, guys watching. Primed hot rod. <laughs> You're so sweet. I love that you'd rather look at cars than beautiful women. Really? Yeah. You know what that also means? What? I'd leave you in a second if I met the right Corvette. <laughs> Welcome back to Tool Time and our salute. <laughs> well, it's either a salute to bean dip or to custom cars. And next up, we have a very special guest helping us out today. I'm so excited that I'm not going to wait. Heidi, bring out our original Tool Girl, please. Here you are, Tim. You all know Lisa has been off at school studying to be an emergency medical technician. You've certainly come to the right show. <laughs> all right, guys, enough chit-chat. We have a job to do, and in honor of Lisa being here, she's going to help channel this hood on this 46 Ford convertible. Now, the first step is to tack weld the hood down to secure before we make our cut. Heidi, could you... I'd be happy to weld, Tim. No, could you help Lisa on with her coat, please? Oh, Okay. doing? I'm just doing a little wrapping in the hood. <laughs> All right, Lisa, why don't you tell us what you'll be using to do your tack welds? I'll be using a MIG welder. Oh, I love MIG welders. Is it? Tim, let go. Let go. Tim, release. <laughs> Tim, do you want me to tape that section on the other side of the hood? Got all covered. Thanks, lady. you know about impressing a girl? I know it doesn't involve office supplies. <laughs> Randy, don't listen to him. I think it's a great idea. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi. Hey, Dad. So, anybody see Tool Time today? I did, and it was the best Tool Time ever. <laughs> so when are you going to get a third Tool Girl? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. But I told Lisa she's welcome back anytime she wants. All right. <laughs> Is Heidi okay with that? Sure, why wouldn't she be? And besides that, I got a lot of cool ways of working Lisa back into the show. All right. Hello? Hi, Heidi. We were just talking about you. If I... What? Say that again? Come on. Not fulfilling enough. We should talk. Just... Wait a minute, wait a minute. This has something to do with... Uh, Heidi? 
What's going on? She quit. I can't believe she's not going to be on tool time anymore. Tim, what did you do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? She just took away my reason for living. <laughs> I can't believe she wants to quit the show. That, that's, that's like abandoning the Tool Time family. Well, it might have something to do with her stepsister. Al? <laughs> I'm talking about Lisa. Did you ask Heidi how she felt about Lisa coming back to the show whenever she wants? As a matter of fact, no. <laughs> Did you make sure that you didn't feature Lisa on the show any more than you featured Heidi? As I recall... No. Did you at any time tell Heidi that Lisa coming back on the show was in no way a threat to her job? I'll have to go with no. Do you see a pattern here? No. What would happen if Benford asked Bob Vila to come and co-host Till Time whenever he felt like it? I probably hit him in the head with a board like I did last time. Well, Benford would never do that to you because they know how uncomfortable it would make you. It must be nice knowing that your job is so secure. All right, already. I'll call Heidi up and unravel this mess. How do I look? Is this a good first date outfit? Because you know I could change again. It's perfect. You look great. She's not picking up, and I know you're there, Heidi. Pick up. Come on. She's not picking up. Heidi. Why is it women get so over-emotional over everything? I'll tell you why. Because they're high-strung and they're moody, and no matter what you do, it's never enough, you're never right. Never. <laughs> Enjoy your day tonight. You know, I am so sorry. The salesman told me it was a high-quality pen. Oh, don't worry about it, Randy. <laughs> the ink actually matches my skirt. <laughs> Good evening. Our special pasta tonight is linguine al arrabbiata. Uh, always good. Uh, what's arrabbiata? Well, it's it's sort of, yeah, it's kind of tough to describe. How, how would you put that into English? Sauce. Of course. Well, you uh, decide. Can I bring you a soft drink? No, I'll just have water. Me too. Two waters. Okay. Big tip coming my way tonight. <laughs> You know, Lorna, it's, it's, it's really great that uh, we can have our first date on your birthday. Yeah, I just hope I pick the right restaurant. <laughs> no, I love it. Are you okay? You seem a little tense. I do what? You're buttering your hand. <laughs> Dry skin. Here we are. Two free waters. <laughs> well, <laughs> the uh, water looks good. Yeah. Here's your birthday. <laughs> It's okay. I'll just go to the ladies' room and dry off. Okay. Buonasera, Randito. Hello, sir. So what brings you here this evening? Well, uh, I'm on a date with Ron. What are you doing here? Well, I'm getting together with my wine tasting club. <laughs> Oh, yeah, where's everyone else? Oh, they're probably at home sobering up from our last meeting. <laughs> so, how is your date with Lauren going? Oh, well, you know, so far I've inked her, soaked her, and uh, buttered my own hand. <laughs> Randy, everybody does that. Really? No, I'm just trying to make you feel better. Gosh, Wilson, you know, I'm just so worried that Lauren's not going to like this date. The more worried I get, the more I keep screwing up. Um, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, Randy, I'm reminded of the modern-day guru, Baba Ram Das. His philosophy is be here now. Well, I am here now. I think that's a problem. No, 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 no. What Baba Ram Das means is be here in the moment. Don't worry about what will be. Savor what is. Save what's on your mind. Well, what's on my mind is that Lauren must think I'm a dork. I've seen the way Lauren looks at you. Her eyes definitely do not say dork. Really? Go to her, Randy. Well, I, 
I would, but she's in the ladies' room. Wait. Nice lot, Lucy. Hey, Randy, I'm back. Yes, you are. You're here now, and I'm here now, and now we can sit in the candlelight and uh, enjoy our water. <laughs> I would like that. Are we ready to order, or do we need another few hours here at my best table? Now, excuse me, sir. I don't mean to be impolite, but this is our first date, and the reason we picked this restaurant is we were told we'd have an enjoyable evening. I'm sorry. I'm a little jumpy tonight. I always get that way when I have to face this rowdy wine club. <laughs> uh, this one they call Wilson is a real handful. <laughs> Signore! This Chianti is an insult to my palate. It has no exuberance. <laughs> Allow me to bring you some complimentary appetizers. You know, Randy, that was really great the way you spoke up. Well, you know, sometimes you gotta stop worrying about how someone might react and uh, just say what's on your mind. You know, especially if you really care about the person. I didn't know you had such strong feelings about our waiter. <laughs> No, um, I'm talking about you. And what's on my mind is how beautiful you look tonight. Thank you, Randy. You know, there's something on my mind, too. Uh, never a dull moment at table seven. <laughs> Hey, big news. You're looking at Detroit Memorial's newest paramedic. Congratulations! <laughs> Boy, didn't take you long to find a job. Well, they said three years working with Tim was like ten years' experience in emergency. <laughs> now look who's back. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Al. Hey, Tim, guess what? Lisa found a job as a paramedic at Detroit Memorial. Congratulations. Thanks, Tim. Um, have you talked to Heidi? No, this is her morning. She comes in late. She's had her mommy and baby class. You know where that is? I want to go talk to her. Yeah, it's at St. Stephen's. But I don't think they'll let you in the door without your mommy. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious, Al. <laughs> Heidi quit. <laughs> what? Yeah. I talked to her last night. She was upset, and I think it's because I had Lisa on the show again. Wait a minute. You mean you never asked Heidi how she felt about it? Oh, boy. Here we go again. <laughs> Tim, I never would have come back on the show if I knew it was going to upset Heidi. I never asked Heidi how she felt about it either. How can I be so insensitive? Pull yourself together, will you? I'll go down there and talk to her. Work it out, okay? Now, don't start the show without me. If you have to, just stall, okay? I'll see you later, Lisa. What is becoming of Al Borland? I mean, is my sensitivity being obliterated by my overwhelming masculinity? I don't think so, Al. <laughs> Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. <laughs> so, before we go on, does anybody have any questions? Yeah, I do. Did that bus you were singing about, what kind of power plant is that? A Cummins, a Caterpillar, or a Detroit Diesel in there? Tim, what are you doing here? Um, I, I need to talk to you. I'm right in the middle of my class. I want you to come back. Tim, I told you how I felt. I have to move on. But I need you. Oh, Heidi, give him another chance. He's making an effort. I know you're upset because you had to share your role with another woman. Another woman? Uh, you pig! Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm, I'm not her husband. I'm her boss. Oh, sexual harassment. Uh -huh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Could we talk in private for just a minute? Yeah. Excuse me. Would you mind watching Amy for a second? Oh, I'd be happy to. I'd oh, be right there. All right. Um, I shouldn't have invited Lisa on the show without asking how you felt about it. Tim, I wouldn't have minded if I felt like my work was appreciated. Oh, come on. I appreciate your work. You know that. No, I don't. You never say anything about it. You're a very important part of tool time. I mean, you're the one that gets there early every day. You set up all the projects. You're the first one out front with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> That's called self-defense. You're the biggest star in tool time right now. Because of you, we've got fan clubs in, what, six countries now? Not to mention 20 federal penitentiaries. I'm 
sure they won't mind watching Lisa. What does she have to do with this? Tim, I was there. I heard her say she wanted a job. Yes, she wanted a job, and she got one. As a paramedic. Really? Yeah. And just because of that, I, I would never fire you over that. I want you to really think about this, because tool time wouldn't be the same without you. Well, I better call Scott. You guys should talk it over. No, I'm going to tell him he's watching Amy today. I'm coming back to work. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Tim, you want to be Amy's partner? We're going to sing a song. Okay. How about a car song? Mustang Sally. How about that, Amy? No, actually, these songs are for the babies. Well, you already sang a song for the babies. It's a messy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried all the rain. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something came out here, but it's certainly not the sun. Well, I'm sure Heidi appreciated you going to that baby and mommy class. What she appreciates is me cleaning up that kid's mudslide. <laughs> you changed the diaper? Yeah, good thing I had those welding gloves in the car. <laughs> Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. We're uh, going to my room to study for finals. They are so cute together. Do you remember how nervous you were when we first went out? Mm-hmm. Tried to kiss you. I couldn't figure out what to do with my hands. Yeah, you get over that quick. <laughs> you remember when we studied in your dorm for finals? Oh, yeah. <laughs> One thing led to another. And... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.